great send-off for the opening match of the Step Line of Fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the 2016 PWBA Wichita Open. We have reached the group stepladder final stage with Jason Thomas, Terry Bigham in the booth. My name is Emil Williams, Jr. Pleased to be joined by a fantastic special guest, Mrs. Brianna Cote. Thank Brianna. you. Brianna, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I am well. We appreciate you joining us as well. Bri will give you some insight, of course, as to uh, how the pattern played for her, what she's seeing on the lanes uh, from these wonderful uh, female bowlers, of course, as well. The best women in the world competing on the PWBA Tour. We will start with Diana Zabulova taking on Amanda Green. First shot from Diana Z Great is Tim back. Our second match, of course, simultaneous. Group A and Group B, Lee Jane Sin taking on Kelly Kulik. Jane making back-to-back -back shows coming off the queens. So bowling great out here. And she has had a fantastic month of May. She won the Malaysian Open oh, awesome. in early May. Great. Congratulations to Jane. There's Amanda Green. Oh, trying to get some help there on the sixth pin. And already a PWBA champion. Won next week's event, of course, the Lincoln Open. Last year. Defend. We'll see if she'll be the first person to defend. We have yet to have a, someone defend their title. Good spare from Amanda Green. We'll talk a little bit about, of course, the player's roads to get here, but first, Kelly Kulik. Kelly is um, battling a foot injury as well. Yeah, I uh, noticed something in the, the, the final game of the position round of match play. So she threw a spare and came back, and she just didn't look right. Yeah, she said that there's something, I think it's the arch of her foot that's been, been bugging her the last couple of years, but I guess it's really flared up those last couple weeks and we've been bowling a lot so I think you know the body can only take so much but Kelly is a trooper and she's going to push through it and, and she's going to execute it the best of her ability definitely wouldn't Good. expect anything yeah. less no definitely not well, Kelly with the early open frame back over to Amanda Green and with the exception of Lee Jane Sin currently all three both collegiately here in the United States. At one point or another, of course, Kelly, Moorhead State, national title. In the late 90s, Diana Zabulova has won a team championship and a singles championship as yeah. well with Weber International. Amanda Green. Amanda pulled for Lindenwood, I believe. She did. Jane with the early double. Early break there for, or not an early break, I beg your pardon, for Diana Z. Makes it a, a little bit more makeable. <laughs> Saw a few of those out here this week, so. Of course, Bree herself, a collegiate standout at Central Missouri. I believe you won every award <laughs> there is to win. <laughs> I had a very great uh, <laughs> collegiate career, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, probably one of the best times of my life. This is this is ranking up to number two right now. <laughs> so. A great shot there from yeah. Lee Jane Sin. So you see the early momentum for Lee Jane. Mm -hmm. She can strike. She can definitely uh, string them, and she's she's doing fantastic right now. Doesn't look like she uh, she's just finishing where she left off last week. <laughs> I was remarking about it earlier as we watched Kelly here. That's a good shot there. Kelly was having trouble getting that 10 out the last position round game too. And I don't know if it's physical, but I'm sure she's very frustrated. Somebody else who might be a little frustrated, but she can't really show it at this point is Diana Zabulova. Yeah, I would imagine so. Um, I mean, Diana pulled so great during qualifying. And into the cashers round, and um, 
something else lit a spark in, in Danielle, and she kind of just put cruise control on. But I think Diana maintained her composure so she could still make the step ladder. Yeah, Diana Zavulova, of course, uh, as you said, led the majority coming into uh, match play. But Danielle McEwen kind of started her run towards the end of the cashers round. Yeah, she, uh, she, she, I don't know. I asked her, what'd you have for lunch? <laughs> and she goes, I went to Pita Pit and nothing special. <laughs> but uh, she, uh, she did something else today and, and great bowling to Danielle. And, you know, she's just been leaving where she left off week after week. So great bowling to Danielle and a well-deserved number one seed. At one point, she had the, she shot 7.53. Mm -hmm. The last three of the cashers. Last round. three of cashers round. And then proceeded to shoot 8.23. Yeah. And just, I mean, shooting 800 is hard. <laughs> but coming out here and moving pair to pair uh, and shooting 8.20. And, and she didn't stop there. I mean, she shot 10.99 for four. Just unbelievable uh, bowling. Just remarkable. Also, congrats to Maria Jose Rodriguez as well, the number two seed. Yeah, she bowled fantastic this week, too. I bowled next to her all week, and, and she was, she started out, you know, kind of just holding her own, and then she had a real big second block, and she didn't really stop after that. So, great shot there by Amanda. One last look at here at Lee Jane Sin. We keep it here because she's at the front four. Mm -hmm. First group step ladder for Lee Jane Sin here. There's a little light. Oh. Switch over to Diana Z at the Nationwide Sonoma County Open. Diana, very similar position, mm -hmm. led the tournament throughout essentially, lost to Lee in the position round of match play, yes, and then uh, lost uh, her one game. She was the two seed. And the group step ladder at that point lost that game to miss the show. Yeah, it seems all too familiar for her right now. Um, so I think she's got some extra drive in her to, to get on the show because she's been so close. Um, and she's been bowling great. And I, I think she's she's uh, trying to make that show and kind of get the monkey off her back. <laughs> Which, I mean, she hasn't had much monkeys on her back. She's been bowling phenomenal. Indeed. But to make that show, it's, it's a, a huge accomplishment in itself. And she talked a lot about yesterday in our recap and just chatting with her that she wanted to win this tournament and, you know, without saying or mentioning the exact event, but she certainly said, hey, I've, I've let an event, you know, let it slip away essentially. Yeah. Uh, I'm focused and I want to win this event. You see a nine pin there from Kelly Kulik. Yeah. If, if you are dying, is he, how do you handle that mentally? Mentally, you just, you just got to start over every single week. You can't keep looking, you know, in the past and, like, what could have been or what could I have done or, you know, like, you can't keep looking at all the faults. You have to stay positive. And, and week, in, week in and week out, it's really hard to do. Um, if you have a bad week, it, it is hard to forget it because the turnaround is so quick. But, you know, you have to regroup and think about, okay, what did I learn from that experience? And I think she's doing well. I, I'm sure she, in the back of her mind she is frustrated. Um but it's going to push her to also do better the next time. So we got a chance, of course, that essentially she controls her own destiny still. Mm -hmm. That's a good shot for Amanda Green and a big double. Yeah. Yeah. And keep that mask as close as possible. Well, right now, just a one pin match in favor of Zavialova. I'll switch over now to Kelly Kulik. Kelly trailing here early as Lee Jane sent off to a great start. It's a good shot. Good shot by Kelly. Seeing if she can put something together here in the back half of this game. Oh, man, I got away with that one. It looked like it was a little left off of hand. Good That's shot for Green there. Great shot. Keep the pressure on Diana. Amanda, of course, part of, including yourself, the, the young contingent here on the PWBA Tour. She's a, a little bit younger. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. 
Yeah, but we're we were both in the you know the time where there wasn't a tour. She didn't have to wait as long, so that's good for her. <laughs> yeah, and and that's the. Great shot by Diane. Nice shot there from mm -hmm. Diane Z. E, but still a one-pin match. Let's see what's going on here. Lee Jane Sin. Oh, Not sure what happened with our here. monitor. On the right side, nonetheless, Lee Jane went up, yeah. looking for a double. Ah, uh, flat ten. Also need a flat ten. Yeah, actually, Bree, how I mean, how excited, how happy are you to uh, to be able to live out a goal, a dream, oh my goodness. Uh, week oh. in and week out? I'm ecstatic. I mean, I am so thankful I get to do this, and I get to to live my dream of being on tour and traveling week after week and meeting new people and just I mean it's almost like words can't describe it I mean we waited so long the opportunity is here and I think the only thing we can think of is you know we want it to stay <laughs> we want to keep bowling and it's just great now that you have the younger side and and so the hall of famers all coming together to compete and it's just it's amazing because every week it's not necessarily the same people doing great um so I mean I just I'm very grateful. It's a great point because uh, the, the fields each week continue to get deeper. They do. Chapter 10 out there, Amanda Green. Oh, that's a great shot by Kelly, unfortunate. Uh, near to, uh, 7 9. Yeah, fortunate enough to get the 9 out, but still to leave the 7. Um, a great shot like that. And I saw a few of those this week. Um, she'll make her spare and. Keep trying to figure it out. Amanda and Diana are still one pin match going into the eighth frame. Spare for Kelly. And there's Amanda Green in the eighth. Get out of there, oh, Tim. Oh, great That's break. Good. Unfortunately, we've seen way too many of those this week, those seven tens. One of those things where you start to notice, you know, week in and week out, each house you go to, and I'm not bowling, but, mm -hmm. you know, when you watch, you see the different characteristics of the center that you're in. It seemed like last week you saw a lot of uh, seven pins, or excuse me, eight pins. Yes, a, lot of, seven a lot of back pins. I mean, even last week, there was a lot of four nines. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, Aaron shot there by Amanda. Uh, but this week, I mean, there were a lot of pocket seven tens across the board. Um you would see it almost every other pair. Uh, but yeah, each, each point center is going to have its own characteristics. The carry may be different. The pins are going to fall different. Um, the environment can play play a key part in that as well. Jane up here. Great shot by Jane. Pretty solid all week here. See if Diana can capitalize on that open by Amanda, and that looks right. No. Oh. Oof, out of trouble there. Uh, yeah, definitely. And there were a lot of a lot of two ten combinations as well. If you try to get it left to right too early um, on the pattern, the ball just just would not face up, and you were left with that split, and it would get there later in the blocks, but not early. Lee Jane Sin got a commanding lead here. She likes it. Yep, that was a great shot. Lee Jane in full control. Back to Zavialova. Spare attempt. Cleans up nicely. Now the lead, of course, increases here. All right now, 12. Rare single pin miss, of course, can't have those. No, and, and I hate to say this, but we've all we were all victim of that this week, <laughs> myself included. Uh, speaking of the pocket seven ten, <laughs> I mean it wasn't the greatest shot, but it was. You could leave it pretty much any kind of way you could hit the pocket this week. So really feel for Kelly. 
Lee Jane Sin officially. Moving on to moving on. Cole Shannon. Big shot here, ninth frame. Good shot for Diana. Set herself up for the 10th. See if Amanda can put some pressure on her. I mean, that match is still not completely over. Not at all. She can't be shut out. Speaking of Diana, of course. Mm -hmm. She cannot. 234 would look real good. Yeah, put some pressure on Diana. Definitely put it in her hands. Oh, goodness. It's uh. back to back pocket 710. So this time it's the 7 pin. Yep. That will drop. Wow. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs> wow. I've seen a few things this week that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I saw, I saw um, Aaron McCarthy leave the 349. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think Kelly's going to just uh, be done here and get some rest on that foot. So great bowling to Kelly still all week. I know she's disappointed, but she still bowled great. Yeah, absolutely. Great bowling, great week. Yeah, you know, Kelly just time and time again, mm -hmm. no matter where she is in the standings. She's one of the best. You can never count her out. Uh, absolutely. Always seems to make a silent run. When she's not out in front, just oh yeah, cruising, yeah. cruising, and boom. And it gets the 7 10 now. That's big. First shot in the 10th for yeah, her. Yeah, definitely. I mean, she can, she can at least get 224 out of this. Maybe she'll make Diana at least mark. I think mark with good count. So many things possible. Well, we've seen a lot of great bowling throughout this week. The last few, uh, actually, the entire PWA season. So a lot of matches come down to the 10th frame, of course. And really. You know, that's what you want to see as a competitor. You want to oh be yes, definitely. in that situation. Yeah, well, it's like any kind of sporting event. Seeing blowouts are not, not fun. <laughs> you know, you want it to be competitive. You want to, you know, have it just keep going one way or the other. You never know. You're on the edge of your seat. I mean, that's, that's what we're here for. And we've definitely seen plenty of it, and it's only the fifth stop. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I know. I know. It was weird not bowling a stop last weekend. <laughs> a little breaking between the queens, but uh, back at it again. Well, that's good. Good 10th frame there by Amanda. So once again, it's in Diana's hands. So 224 for Amanda Green. Mark and good count. Strike would certainly do it. Yeah, that's the best mark you can ask for. Oh, good. Step back, take some time. It has become a a DZ. I won't say staple, but it's it's something that uh, is she being follow the, her. the Sean Rash of the women's tour? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> We talked to her about it. You know, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not feeling it, you're not confident. Don't go. Oh, absolutely. Just don't go. First shot here for DZ. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. That's the that's the eight nine. Best mark you can get. Great shot by Diana. Nice shot, DZ. Yeah, we we first noticed it at the uh, at the same nationwide Sonoma County mm -hmm. open stop. She shot three hundred. She did opening right off the game. bat. Opening right game. Right off the bat. But she had four balks, and I asked her about it, and she said that that day uh, she wasn't feeling that well, and mm -hmm. so kind of the timing was off a little bit. Uh, but it kind of carried throughout the rest of the weekend, yeah. and it was just kind of something she. And it might just be one of those trying to get out yeah. of the system, if you will. Yeah. Well, if you're, yeah, if something feels, I mean, if you're a feel person, or if you hear something, or you see something out there that just kind of, you know, just step back, reset, you know. This matters, so there's nothing wrong with restarting. Absolutely. I call those uh, anyway shots. Well, what you don't want to throw anyway, essentially. Mm -hmm. it's, if it doesn't feel right, not the right feel, uh, more times than not, if you throw the shot anyway, it's yeah. probably going to be a bad result. Yeah. yeah. And so 
you might as well take the take the step off the approach, step back, put the ball down, and repeat that that pre-shot routine. Yeah. Try a different ball here in the field. Great game by Diana. Game, 246, 224. Yeah. So one game, or excuse me, a one pin match for about five frames. Yeah. And of course, the open frame from Amanda Green is, of course, the opening that. Yep, that's what they needed. And, it, and, you know, she, luckily, she capitalized on it. She didn't, you know, sometimes you your opponent opens and you're like, oh, okay, I have some room now. But then all of a sudden, you, you mentally, you lose focus and you can do the same thing. So our two seats. Well, as you hear Damon Sirocco on the microphone, yep. the tournament director. Are two seeds in Group B, or Group A and B, I should say. Group A is Shainatul Hamidi from Malaysia. And group B is Shannon Pluhowski, of course, a well-known and familiar name. Oh, definitely. I uh, grew up with Shannon. <laughs> so i definitely uh, seen her do just about everything. <laughs> so fantastic bowler. A look at for those who may not know, of course, Shadalo Hamidi, again from Malaysia, a part of Team Malaysia. Mm -hmm. They kind of made their tour uh, appearance or first appearance last week at they the did, Queens. Yeah. And they they both well. We've had Team Singapore out here the, the first few stops, and um, now we have Team uh, Malaysia out here. And, it, you know, both teams are very talented, and you, you can see that, I mean. The first few stops, you you saw, you know, the Singapore girls make the top four, and now you're seeing the Malaysian girls try to do the same thing. So, I mean, the world of bowling is pretty strong. Yeah, the international part, of course, and uh, it's something we've we've talked about, and uh, not that we've overly talked about it, but it's now a part of the tour, essentially. Oh, it is. And it's yeah. certainly not something you can ignore. Uh, each and every week. You know, there, there's someone new, uh, whether they're representing a particular country, of mm -hmm. course, this week. Or last week it was uh, Lee Jane Sin. Yes. You know, making the show at the USBC Queens. This week she is joined by Shadadal Hamidi. In, yeah. in, in, at least now in the group step ladder. Yeah, I mean, they have um, potential for both of them to make the show. Um, being teammates, I'm sure they're thankful they're not bowling each other right now. Um, but I they would if they win here. Yeah, they would. But right <laughs> now, I think they're trying to, you know, Absolutely. if they can make up half the show, you know. They would They would take that deal. De uh, definitely, uh, sure. definitely. So um, I'm sure they'd be okay bowling each other um, on the show. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure uh, Diana and Shannon are going to try to have something to say about that first. It's, uh, it's impressive. And for those, you know, who may just be casual fans of, of the sport, uh, of course, you know, the, the bowling, trying to get into the Olympics, of course. You, uh, this type of uh, the outcomes that we've seen and the great bowlers from the first Singapore, of course, and now Malaysia, and it will continue on. There's ample countries represented on oh, tour. Oh, definitely. Uh, Every they week. They may not live, or they may live in the United States. They live States, in the States, but they still but represent where they're from. Absolutely. Maria Jose Rodriguez from Colombia. Yeah. Uh, we have some Strepo. Venezuelan girls, yeah. Absolutely. You know, I mean, Diana, she's from Latvia. Uh, you know, so we have, you know, we have South America, we have Europe, you know, Malaysia, you know, and and we've had Australia. I mean, we've got them covered. I don't think there's a continent we didn't get to, basically. <laughs> no, it's uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's insane, and, and it's great to see. It's great to see yeah. that even though there wasn't a tour for all that time, it you know, bowling didn't die. The women's bowling was still very active. Yeah, and it, like I said, it makes folks aware mm -hmm. of what's available and what's happening uh, outside of the United States. I mean, bowling is alive. I've talked to many people, and, you know, training centers are being built in, in varying places, and, you know, it's, it's very serious. You oh, know, it is. It is very serious. 100%. And uh, some of these countries, I mean, that's that's what they do. That's That's their job, and it's... It's that's awesome. Um, it's taken very seriously, and it, 
it's not as easy as it looks. I'll tell you that. Uh, I was talking to uh, Brent Bowers, of course, former collegiate player himself. Yes. Part of the management team here at yes. North Rock Lanes. Yep, doing great things here. He's yeah. a, a great advocate for the sport. He said that he is beyond happy that he does not have to bowl against you guys, <laughs> you girls, rather. Uh, on tour, I mean. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty tough. We can, you know, we can hold our That's own. That's an understatement. <laughs> It's okay. I I'll, I'll give you five minutes. To oh, just no. I don't need to, I'm <laughs> good. I'm good. But, uh, I mean, really, though, the, the depth of the fields each week, you know, any, anyone can make a group step ladder. Anybody can come away with uh, a victory at some point, of course, in the event. That's just because the talent level is extremely high. Mm -hmm. A few shots left, folks. Yeah, get ready to start these... Uh, Final matches of the step ladder to see who's going to join Danielle and Maria. Shannon is the higher seed in Group B. She is elected to let Lee Jane Sin start the match. We will wait to see who will start between Diana Zabialova and Shaidadal Hamidi. And if you're just joining us, we're watching group step ladder play in the finals here. Our seeds three and four will be determined. Diana Zabulova just defeated Amanda Green in group A. She will now take on the number two seed in group A. Shaidadal Hamidi in group B. Lee Jane Sin defeated Kelly Kulik. And she will now take on Shannon Pluhowski for the right be involved in the televised stepladder final, which will be taped July 5th. Our big partner will be taped during the PWBA Player Championship in a couple of weeks. The show will air Tuesday, July 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. The Queens started a run of 13 telecasts. 13, that's so PWBA awesome. Tour. It's so awesome. I know, my DVR is set. <laughs> Uh, it's awesome. I can't wait to watch the shows that were taped um, last week. So it's uh, going to be great. So tune in to see if your favorite one. Absolutely. So here we go. I'll start with Shaidatul Hamidi. Nice great shot. shot. It's Shaidatul. Did I say that correctly? Shaidatul. I can say Jane, so. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get it started over here against Shannon. Well, he changed in with a history in the making here. Attempted to. First two shows she's trying to make. Mm -hmm. oh. First two appearances. She'll take that get break. some luck over there. A little luck never hurt anybody. They say it's better to be lucky than good. Sometimes I, I wholeheartedly believe that. Oh, that break there. Speaking of luck, <laughs> very unlucky shot there for Diana. Great shot by Shannon. Phenomenal shot there to start. Kluhowski. Yeah. Sure, what's going on over there? I think uh, Diana Z may have left her spare ball somewhere, potentially. Oh, okay. <laughs> Looks like Shannon's throwing two different balls here. So it's out the double. Say it's a pretty good call. How did the uh, how did the pattern play for you, and what did you see throughout the last couple days? Um, start when we we both practice session. I had a feeling scores were going to be kind of high. Um, there was there was good amount of friction, um, pretty much anywhere on the lane. Um, you could play right, you could play left. There was a lot of multiple angles that could be played. Um, so I had a feeling it was going to be pretty high scoring. I think the key factor is whether or not you were going to carry. Um, you know, like we've already talked about, there was a lot of pocket seven tens, as you can see that from Diana. And uh, so I mean, carry to me was the biggest key factor. Um, you could stay out of trouble 
make your spares, throw in the double on Turkey for trying to save 2-0. Um, but, I mean, during qualif, I mean, it was probably the highest cut I've seen in a while for, for a, a 32 field, um, which I, I, I was expecting going into it. I was like, it's probably going to be about 100. Uh, so, I mean, the, f the lanes were very playable. Um, I used two bowling balls the entire time, you know. So I can't, I can't say that I had to make a whole lot of adjustments. It was just what ball at what time of the day. Right. Um, so, and I know a lot of people use the same bowling ball. If they were matching up well, they weren't making drastic changes. Messenger there. That's the balance of bowling right there. <laughs> you pocket 710, then you messenger. Nice late trip on the 10. I love those. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it does something to the soul, I think. Oh, I wish <laughs> I could get them more. <laughs> See, of Jane here. Third frame. Great shot. Very good shot there from Lee Jane Sin. Quickly over to her teammate. I got her knee. Yep, stand out with a double. Uh, kudos to her. She bowled very well throughout. And went through a tough spell in match play. She shot 144 in game two, and, and that sometimes can be. It can know, be detrimental sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it really can. Uh, but it looks like she uh, she came back beautifully from it. You know, that means she's physically and mentally she's strong. Well, Forgot about it and moved on. She followed it with 266 yeah. and uh, two. That's how you break even for two games. <laughs> Great comeback. Going for three now. Great shot there. Early three bagger. Yep. Shannon here working on front three as well. Still throwing two different balls. Oh, that's pretty good. Great shot there again by Shannon. Shannon trying to make her second televised mm -hmm. final yeah, of the season she's been as well. well. She's been going very well. Back over to Zavialova. 7-10 in frame one to striking frame two. Here's her third frame off. Great, Great shot, shot there. That ball got through the pins really nice. She's just so soft at the bottom. She is very soft. Jane Sin trying to keep pace here with Blue House. Oh, oh, fortunate enough to get that 7 out, but that ball seemed to pick up. I don't yes, it did. can't really tell from this angle if it just picked up real soon or she missed in, but it definitely hooked a lot sooner than, than the previous shots. Joined by Team USA member, former collegiate standout, Brianna Cote. I from North Rock Lanes here in Wichita, Kansas. Group Step Ladder Finals. Soft camera there, Zabulova. Great shot. What the strike there. Jane cleaning up the spare nicely. I'm sure that's not everybody's favorite spare. Oh, well, three six tens, three tens. No, thank you. <laughs> So Hamidi, again with the early advantage, but Zavialova able to close the gap a little bit. Fourth frame. Yeah. Chopped to 10. Yeah. I think it's going to be a battle. <laughs> again, Danielle McEwen, our top seed in the event after match play. In our new format, as you see, Lee Jane Sin she gets some gets help. The mixer. Sometimes I think that carries better than any other shot. So. Emily going for front five. Mixes it up. Certainly a battle for 21 and 22. Mm -hmm. Shannon Kluhowski, five in a row of her yep. own. 
think she did the right thing, throwing two different balls here. Shannon did something today I don't think I've ever seen. She shot back to back, two fifty threes. I saw that on the standings. I was very impressed. I <laughs> believe the, the latter, she defeated Danielle McEwen, two fifty three to two thirty three. It was kind of <laughs> first time in a while Danielle hadn't shot two sixty or more. Exactly, yeah. And Danielle, unfortunately, Danielle opened in the tent, so she was on two sixty. She, she struck was. Out. You're, you're correct. Mm -hmm. I watched that match. I saw scores. I went to go get lunch, and I was <laughs> like, I got to go see what's going on. So I came in and watched them and watched that fabulous bowling. Front six by Shannon. Lowski well out in front here. Yep, taking charge. See if Jane needs to get something going here. And Maria Jose Rodriguez, your second siege. She won essentially the... Group A battle, mm -hmm. the leader after match play, McEwen the leader for Group B. Yep, Maria with a 298 this week. Uh, pocket 710. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again. I don't know, our featured pair, too. Yeah. I pulled, I pulled next to her, like I said, and it was very unfortunate break for her. But great game still. Zavia Lova now, trying to keep pace. Ooh. She does. Good Let's shot. Snap it out there. Lone open, lone non-strike um, came from Zavialova in pocket 710 mm -hmm. in frame one. It's been close. See if Jane can uh, add on here, going for three in a row. Big shot here, I think, for Lee Jane Sin, although seventh frame. But oh, great shot, great shot. The way Shannon is looking. Yeah, that was a That great shot. strike territory. Meaty now looking for six. Someone's got to push. It does. Very poised. Yes, yes. You know, they're it's just like, okay, one after the other, you know. Even even the Singapore girls are doing the same thing. It, I think they're just taught to really present themselves in a certain manner and you know, and they do it great, and they're very, just very sound. I mean, I saw them pull at Queens, and I was, I was impressed. Very good. And you expect them to be here, certainly. Mm hmm Maybe looking for the front seven. Oh. Needs some help. Oh. Hit four. The seven it's out, too. Win. I almost thought that was going to cross over a little bit, but. No, Shannon didn't like it. That's got to help. And it's it, you know, she can have seven. I don't yeah. worry about it. Our scoring system is a little wrong. Not too sure how she has 31 in the first frame. <laughs> uh, I know the yeah. score systems can do that. I have this at home, and if there's something not fully erased, it stays there. But Shannon can pick this up. Yeah, Diana can stay with her. Great shot. Great shot for Diana. It's fair by Shannon, not always the easiest. Still ahead in the match. Neil's working on the correct score right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta be sure. So it should be 166 in the sixth. Yes. Okay. Oh. Diana with the another split. Three, six, seven, ten. Pretty sure Diana needs needs to make this to stay alive.
get some help. She gets two. Jane crosses over. It's a good break for me, Jane. Yep. Still 239 possible for uh, for Jane. She would need a lot of help from Shan here, but anything is possible. Heavy going for the front eight. Great shot. Wow. Great, great shot by her. Take advantage of that broken shot. <laughs> well, you never know. Yeah, you do never know. I mean, when you get a break like that and you can capitalize on it, it's the best thing because you don't know how, how often you're going to get those breaks. Um, oh. That's not over. Not Definitely not over. Okay. Shannon can go a long way by putting it away, certainly. She definitely can. Uh, strike here. Much better shot. Much better shot. <laughs> Front nine attempt. Yeah. Shot Donald Hamidi. That Front is nine. going to uh, to shut out Diana. Fortunately, she's gonna she's, she's gonna lose again. But uh, still made a step ladder. It's hard to make one, let alone a couple. Yeah. Um, it, it's uh, it's tough. She's won a title last season, won the did. Minnesota Open, but mm -hmm. had to get close already a couple times this season. Might be able to kind of put the stamp on it. Yep. Great job by Shannon. One oopsie shot. <laughs> but came back from it. Well, we, barring that seventh frame shot from Pluhowski, we could be looking. A double. We could be. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, apparently Shannon it was human for a frame. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Uh, great ball into Shannon. Yeah, great ball into Jane as well. Shannon Pluhowski. So moving on for her second show. Yeah, second of the season. Second of the season. Let's take a look at Diane so. Zee. Boy, just uh, again, a, a tough way to end an event for Diana. Yeah, I think she, she's a little defeated. Um, it's a new week next week. I keep telling myself that as well. So you just got to. Move on. Great game by Shannon. 278 to, to finish the, the step ladder. So she will be on the show during the taping um, in Green Bay at the Players' Championships. Jane Sin will finish it out, but we will focus now our attentions on her teammates. Yes. So Donald Hamidi. Mm -hmm. From Malaysia. That's the number two seed in Group A. She has the front nine. And you have the PWBA Wichita Open Group Step Ladder Final. Looks pretty good. Great shot. For anybody looking at the score, it is incorrect. <laughs> Don't pay attention to the score. Yes. <laughs> They're trying to give her an extra two pins. <laughs> or is it, yes. yeah, it's two. It's just ten in a row. Yeah. So um, normal bowling, folks, just ten in a row. <laughs> also, folks, apologize if you see the, your screen shake. Uh, our cameras are situated around. Yeah, being folks. bombarded by We're people trying to clapping. get a view and see what's going on. That silence in the crowd. I'm meeting looking for 11. The Wichita Open. That's got a push. Bang! Yeah, great shot. Right, Donald Hamidi. One more for perfection. As Lee Jane Sin finishes up, shoots 228. Yep, great ball into Jane. Jane Sin. Fantastic back to back events. Two great, two great uh, events for her. Belongs to her teammate. Mm -hmm. And uh, her it's fellow. Still in the show. Watching <laughs> right behind. Coach, JT, you ready to be a part of history, Bree? Ready. Let's do this. Here we go. 
Amidi, final shot. Get some help. Get it. It is. Get out of there, nine. It is. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that. On extra frame. Wow. It could not have gotten any more. On your edge of your seat. Oh, that was great. And it's a 302, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shai Donald Hamidi, folks. 300. And that's our only one we had this week. Correct. What a time to do it. What a time to do it. That is unbelievable. That was just amazing. Oh, amazing. Uh, a quick award, actually, from Northlock oh. Lanes. $100. Northlock Lanes. That is awesome. How about that? Big props to Northlock Lanes. Uh, giving her $100 for her 300 game. Well, Frank DiSocio and Kathy, his wife, the proprietors here at oh, Northlock Lanes. They did a Lanes. great job. Great facility. Great staff. And thank you so much for having us again. So your TV finals are set, folks, for the Wichita Open. Your top seed will be Danielle McCune. Your number two seed. Maria Jose Rodriguez. The number three seed. Shannon? Shannon Pluhowski. Shannon Pluhowski. And number four seed, who you just saw. Right. Topping it off the with the only 300 wow. of the week. Talk about perfection. Whew. Unbelievable. I'm sure all the other ladies are glad the bowling's over for the day. There and the hugs around. And there they are, folks. It's your top four. Awesome bowling ladies. Look forward to uh, seeing that show. Pro Am coming up in yes. about an hour. Are you bowling pro? -Am? I am bowling the Pro Am. I bowled it here last year as well. It was a great time. So looking forward to it again. That's fantastic. And uh, there's a lot of us playing. I think it's a sold out pro am, which is awesome. Look at our ladies here on the show. I just worked them. I just flagged Terry, big them down, and it worked. How about that? It doesn't happen. You have a magic way of just making things happen. Appreciate the boss being here. <laughs> helping us out uh, at the Wichita Open. Um, Bree has a, a program to compete in. Yep. Uh, Talked to many of the local fans, and they were excited about that. And uh, always talking about uh, the, the bowlers that they see, so they are definitely enjoying you guys as well, yes, I'm sure. Yes, yes, it's fun. We have a good time. Um, the last few have been nine pin no tap, so I think uh, as a pro, myself and the other lady pros, I think we're looking forward to not shooting at some single pins <laughs> and just having fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, folks, uh, the Wichita Open, your top four seeds. TV show will be taped at the Players' Championship. The show will air July 5th, 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. It's been a fun week. It's been a fantastic week. Again, congratulations to all, especially Shai Donald and yeah. Perfection. Went out with a bang. On the live stream to clinch a spot on the oh, televised yeah. finals. I hope to see everybody next week in Lincoln or yeah, watch absolutely. us. So for 
Rihanna Cote, I want to thank her for joining us. Our other guests, Brent Bowers yesterday, Terry Bigham, Jason Thomas, our entire tournament staff and crew. I want to thank all of you for joining us on Extra Frame. Folks, don't forget, check out the archives on Extra Frame as well. Join us next week for the Pepsi PWBA Lincoln Open. Until then, my name is Emil Williams, Jr. We'll see you next week. Have a good night. Have a good see week. Ya. Talk to you soon.